All right, so end of a long day, but let's talk about things that you need as a small business that you can't buy. Let's get into it. All right, so this video topic was brought up by my wife and I was like, that's a great video topic, let's do it. So a couple things that I have found out that you can't buy when you're in a small business. Now, granted, if you have a bunch of money, there's certain ways of getting around it. Yes, yes. If you have a bunch of money, you can buy some of this stuff. But now I didn't start this business with a lot of money. I wasn't dead broke. I'm not, I don't have one of those rags to riches. Like I just, you know, pulled myself up from my bootstraps kind of, I had, when I was fired, I still had some money. I mean, I wasn't, you know, wasn't completely broke. So I had, I had some investments I could, you know, put into myself, but at the same time, let's get into it. So one of the first one, and these are no particular order, but uh, I'll say a good reputation. Now, yes, you can buy a business that already has a good reputation. I get it, but if you're starting out. You need to protect your reputation. And it's the most important thing. Uh, absolutely um, a good reputation is hard to keep and a bad reputation is hard to lose and you need to protect it just do all like there's jobs where I've done for free just to make sure the customer was happy or I've walked away there was one I'll just say like I was doing a job like replacing a faucet or something I forget what it was uh, showers it was a shower a shower um, head unit but uh, it was back in the it's probably four years now four or five years and the customer bought the wrong one so i was like hey you know you yeah you know you had the wrong one you're gonna need to you know you're gonna need to buy a new one so she's like okay no problem so she went and buy, buys a completely new one but you've got obviously it's it didn't, it didn't work she's got some crazy um she bought like say a tub you know a tub valve that needed you know you just a regular shower valve and i could you know you could sweat it in but it's not i could i didn't have access to her valve so and then she said, you know, fine, forget it. Don't worry about it. Apparently you don't want to do the work, et cetera, et cetera. And she threatened, I think, to sue me or something like that, even though I've never, I, I was just there to look at it, never charge her anything. She technically wasn't a customer because I never took any of her money. But, you know, that was just one of them. You just got to make sure you got to protect yourself, protect your reputation. It was, um, it's, you know, you know, somebody who you do, you do great work for somebody. They'll tell one, maybe two people. But if you do something bad, they'll tell 10, 15, 20, 30, post it on Facebook for all their hundreds or even a thousand friends to see. So make sure you protect your reputation. Uh, creates loyal customers, which is fantastic. You know, re, you know, repeat customers. They come back for other things. I have multiples of those. Um, just, you know, I, I think I sold a, we were getting rid of one of our built-ins in our old house and I put it posted up on Marketplace or Craig's, I think yeah, it was Marketplace. Um, this gentleman reached out to me saying, hey, uh, i like to buy it, um, do, you, do you install it? And because I think I posted, you know, install at an additional, you know, fee. So I was like, yeah, I'll install it for you, you know, at a certain fee. I was thinking it was like two or 300 bucks or whatever it was. I can't remember. This was another, probably another five years ago or so. And then he's like, oh, you know, you know, and he didn't know that I had my own business. So he, he wanted me to build himself a closet. So I built a small little closet, put a little bit of, you know, put a light switch in there. And then from there, it, it went into, hey, can you redo my deck? Which I redid his deck. Um, he's got a huge deck. It's like probably 1,300 square foot deck. So I redid a bunch of planks, you know, re solid color stain. I mean, it was, it was a lot of money. Um, for me back then, it was, that was, you know, a great, a great job for me to have. And then from there, he had me build a, uh, um, come up like other work. And then I had to build him a wheelchair ramp as well for an unfortunate circumstance. So, and that, and that, that wheelchair ramp, I mean, it was a long, it was a big wheelchair ramp. It was, you know, well into the five figures for that ramp. So you never know, right? You never know. So good reputation, protect it. Make sure uh, you do right by everybody as best you can just do the best work you can. And I mean, let the rest of it fall, I guess, because it's, you know, you're not gonna make everybody happy, but you just gotta protect your reputation. So next one we're gonna go in with is experience. Yes, I know you can, and I've done this before, you can buy experience by paying somebody else to do it and watching them, et cetera, et cetera. But you, I, if you're like me, you're gonna know, you're gonna learn the most if you're doing it and then you make the mistake because you know, because if you have to redo something at, on your dime, on your time, that you won't make that mistake again because it hurts, it just, mm, just, pisses you off i know i've done it 
you can't you can't buy that because <laughs> there's things I know that I'll never do again, things I know I never want to do again, and things now that I know I it's just ridiculous. So um, experience, there's learning from your mistakes um, is invaluable to me. Like I I did a bunch of research. I did I think I was pretty good. Like I watched a bunch because I you know I started this business in the YouTube and Google uh, age where I can Google pretty much everything, YouTube everything. Uh, it's you know it's um, I had a great crutch. Don't get me wrong, great crutch. So, but I still made I still made a uh, crap load of mistakes because I didn't know where to look, and some of that stuff is not readily available. So, learning from my mistakes is fantastic. It helps me out so much. It just you know I try to mitigate them and try to make those mistakes not as bad, and slow down. Just you know slow down. Learning to say no. That's pretty much been the you know um, the motto for 2021 is saying no, not overextending myself and raising my prices it's been i mean i've been raising my prices before but you know just with the market as it is just raise my prices say no to things um like today alone i've said no to two jobs um and it's it, it feels good i mean some of them you want to some of them you absolutely don't it's not even worth your time kind of thing so but you know experience i would absolutely say that's the one thing you can't buy uh within reason because it's just, you're just gonna have to you're gonna have to learn from other people and try to learn from other people's mistakes that's why i'm putting these videos up here as well so uh one of the last things i would say is a support system uh my business but i would have failed without my wife and um, obviously i have a daughter too but she's a more of a cheerleader and it's great it's awesome but at the same point without a support somebody who supports you or a somebody that doesn't always just bring you down, you're gonna need it. Now you can buy yes people, you know, you know people that just tell you yes all the time and get that. But when somebody can tell you the hard truth, like, hey, you need to cut this, you need to do this, this is why you're failing. Um, Cause I don't always have that self-reflection. You know, I don't like, you know, sometimes I'm just like, oh yeah, I really sucked at that. So it's like, all right, let's try to do something better next time. Um, there's times that are right in my face, I know I need to change, but there's things that I don't even see. Because I'm a guy, I'm pretty much a one track. I can do one thing really good. And if you give me two things, it's like, meh, like 40, 60. And then if you give me three things, it's like, you know, 15%, 20%, and another 20%. And the rest of it, I just throw out the window. So, uh, yeah, I need a support system. My wife's that as well. Also, if for you, like having, I've had um, good experience with uh, extended family. They know that, I, you know, let everybody know that you're in business. And they can all, you know, hey, so and so is in bit, you know, if you need something done, they can always extend, you know, um, they're basically your support network and network and your cheer, your cheerleaders, if you will, that know that you're in business and know that you want to do right by everything, and they're willing to put their your name out there for you. So, the, I can't I, I can't buy that. Um, I mean, it's it, it's 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 been great, absolutely. And now. Um, having somebody at home that doesn't support you is just detrimental as well. So I would say it's going to be tough for you if, if you don't have, like, say, if your immediate family does not support you, um, you need to maybe communicate your, you know, what you want to do with your life more or maybe even separate yourself, try to separate yourself from that negativity. I will say that. Uh, I'll leave it at that as well. So I think that's basically the th main three things. I tried a couple, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can just buy straight up. So I'm not going to, but these are the things that I kind of found in my in my business that you i mean no matter how much money i threw at it within reason is i just need to experience i have a support system thankfully but i definitely need it um and then you know a, a re my reputation even though my new business doesn't have very many online reviews but i honestly i've been i've been we're slammed where we are straight up booked almost for an entire year uh, i won't say a, two, a whole year but i mean i don't need any additional large jobs until at least may may or june so and this, and this video is coming out sometime in August, 2021. So that is what it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did I miss something? Did I, did I miss something that you can't buy? Let me know. I've been trying to you know, rack my brain a little bit, but these are the three things that I basically have gone through. And yeah, I, I couldn't have, you know, I tried to plan ahead, try to do my research, try to do everything. And these things still, they come around and experience and you know, things bite you in the butt. I do have a good support system and I try to protect my reputation as much as I can. So like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.